here is a look at the OCZ Synapse SSD caching solution. This is the 128 gig version. There's also a 64 gig version. The 128 gig version is slightly faster in read and write specs. And uh, anyway, the only requirements to this drive versus like proprietary things such as Intel SRT is this will work on any system it just ha you just have to have a SATA 2 controller or better and you will and you will function this does support SATA 3 um, it also requires Windows 7 doesn't matter which version of Windows 7 just that it's Windows 7 um, and this once you install this hard drive uh, this into your system with your pre-existing hard drive and pre-existing setup. There's no need to reinstall your system. Um, you just down, go to OCC's website and download the Dataplex software. The serial key is on the back of the SSD as well as the front cover of the instructions that come with it. Uh, once you install the Dataplex software, um, well first you install the drive, the OCZ drive, you format it as NTFS, then you uh, install the Dataplex software using the included key, and you tell it the source <clears throat> what you want to cache, which is going to be your boot drive. Uh, only limitation with this Dataplex software right now is that it's limited to 2 terabyte hard drives or, or RAID volumes. So you could have a larger RAID, for example, if you're using this on a RAID, as long as you have a 2 terabyte volume, boot volume, that you'll be caching. It doesn't matter the partitions or the number of partitions, as it's based on the drive that you are caching. So no worries there if you have a single hard drive with a 2 terabyte or a smaller partition or volume with multiple partitions, it will cache them all. So which is really nice, you know, especially for those who organize where they put stuff and <clears throat> as opposed to having everything on just a drive C. And so once you're, uh, and how this works basically, once you install it in your computer, format the drive, um, after you format it and install the Dataplex software, then the SSD will now be invisible so you won't see it anymore. Now um, it's going to start caching all of your hot data. What that means is that everything you start running most frequently will be loaded onto the cache. So in the future, those programs will load off of the cache drive. So you're going to be getting SSD speeds off of your computer. So <clears throat> is, and, and it will also increase your boot time because once you've restarted your computer once or twice, in the f from that point on, it's going to be booting from the SSD. So your low times for your operating system are going to be dramatically, dramatically reduced. Especially if you have a lot of things loading in the background. So you're going to really love it. Um, I had my recommend this, recommended this drive to my cousin that uses a 4-disc RAID 0. And even with that <laughs> crazy setup, he sees the difference in performance. And he's using a SATA 2 controller on his particular setup. And even with a SATA, con SATA 2 controller, you're going to get most of the benefit from, from, the from this setup. Although it will run a little bit faster in some types of reads and writes using a SATA 3 controller. Um, and also, this includes a drive bay converter. So if you want to install it in a standard 3.5-inch hard drive slot, you can screw this down to the bottom here. It includes screws. So you would screw it down from the bottom up. And then you can put it in your normal 3.5-inch hard drive bay. And, um, and that's uh, about it in a nutshell. In the future, I understand that the Dataplex software will be made to handle larger than 2 terabyte volumes. But for now, it's just limited to two terabytes. That's really the only downside of the setup. Otherwise, you're going to have the benefit of uh, your full capacity hard drive up to two terabytes, but with the performance of an SSD with all of your programs and applications without having to worry about picking and choosing a handful of programs. Uh, if you were to buy 
like a standalone SSD. So it's far better than that. You can have all your programs, everything on your hard drive. You have the cache. Everything that you run most often is going to be loading off of the cache from then on. And you're going to be um, happy as can be.